champ. Can I just say that you are looking spectacular tonight? You just bring this energy that lights up the locker room. Oh, man. Cross won his match real fast, huh? How can you tell? You look pasty and nauseous, and that always means one of your ideas is blown up in your face. Yeah, uh... Carrion caught Veer Mahan in the cross jacket right off the lockup. It was over in ten seconds. Ten seconds? So who do I have to beat in nine seconds or less? Uh, Apollo Crews. If I had two minutes against him, I'd be fine. But nine seconds against anyone is nearly impossible. You suck, Troy. Good luck out there, champ. Here comes a man with a vision. The following is a Beat the Clock Challenge. Making his way to the ring from Benway State, Nigeria. Weighing in at 241 pounds, Apollo made a return to NXT, joined the main event scene there, and is doing the best work of his career. Always oh, had the athleticism, but now he has a drive like never before. Time for Cruz to execute on his vision. Well, I just hope he can do that without bleeding from his eyes. Hoping for a lightning quick stampede to victory. It's the Dark Horse. And his opponent, from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 256 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Wild Thing, Anthony Wheeler! This stroll to the ring is gonna take longer than this 10-second time limit match. It does feel like Miz has inadvertently put his champ in a no-win situation here. Tick tock, it's fight o'clock. The Dark Horse biggest challenge tonight is not Apollo Crews, but the clock as he attempts a 10 second victory. The match is almost already over. Chicken wing applied with the half now. Is that it? This time limit expires, and we have a draw.
The following contest is a last man standing match and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. We are about to hear the sinister siren song of Scarlet. It is a tune that has struck fear in the entire WWE Universe. One of the most dominant competitors in NXT history. TikTok Doomsday has arrived. The time has come to fall and pray. Just a prelude to the unrelenting attack we are about to see from Karrion Cross. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. Well, the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. The reins are off, and it is on. Introducing the challenger from Sin City, weighing in at 265 pounds, Karrion Cross. And his opponent from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 256 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Wild Thing.
serious faces on our competitors. This big moment is not lost on them. There it is, the ultimate prize, the Universal Championship. A title worth putting it all on the line for. If the WWE Universal Champion's last match was a blitz, this one looks to be a battle of survival, with both men trying to outlast the other in a last man standing match. The Dark Horse is putting his title and body on the line. Whoever stands tall when the dust settles will have certainly earned the victory tonight. Well, I think the sands of the hourglass are running out for our champion, and Doomsday will officially arrive in the form of Karrion Cross. And we know when he has a chair in hand, things get messy in a hurry. Face first into the chair. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. time he wants. If this works, it could change the course of the map. On the top. Oh, he retaliates. Ah, oh, watch out. Flying over into the crowd. Nice takedown. These superstars are the literal definition of a danger to themselves and others right now. And Cross can't find an answer for these attacks. Cross has a look of someone surprised to be in such a position. And it looks like they've still got something left in the tank. Look in his eyes. He has the battle on his side, and I don't think there's any reasoning with him now. Oh, what a shot. Really swinging wildly now. Knee to the face. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. The tech oh, right. oh, and he doesn't connect. And complete control of their opponent here. Oh. Into a DDT. A place to be for the challenger. Yeah, Michael, but in this type of match, it's all about how much you can endure. And an overbearing amount of offense against Cross here. I assure you, Karrion Cross was not expecting to be in this position. Oh, would you are arm bar applied. The champ targeting that arm. If the challenger can defend or strike, they're going to be in a hazardous situation. him off and cross is finally changing the tempo with that attack cross finds a way to answer back and it could be a turning point he is efficient and dangerous with his offense thus far he's got that determined look now nice. getting tossed around Particularly terrible. I don't see any way to come back from that. This isn't the smartest thing to do. Antagonizing your opponent instead of attacking him. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. is brought to a disadvantage now. Cross on the wrong side of every exchange. Ooh, man. Escape just in time. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. 
He must have had that scouting. And well-timed maneuver there. Oh! Craft your way to get out of hard there. Scoop slam. Cross evades that. And now blood is flowing from the sinister face of Cross. Letting everyone know he's got full intent on using that kendo stick. Taking his sweet time coming out of the crowd. No reason not to, Saxton. He's got all the time in the world. champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. What a title defense by the champion. Now he left it all in the ring tonight with the type of performance that's defined his title reign. As part of the WWE production team, I've watched you dominate as the champ. But I've heard the same whispers I know you have. People see you as nothing more than Miz's new puppet. Cameron Grimes even said he could beat you twice in one night. Why not show the doubters that even if you're not defending your title, you'll go to any lengths to defend your reputation? Take Grimes on in a two out of three falls match and make him back up his talk. Perhaps the richest man in all of WWE, Cameron Grimes. And guess what, Michael? His fortune is going to the moon. The following contest is a two out of three falls match. Making his way to the ring from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cameron Grimes. This is a man who owns lots of stock, but also lots of gold. You're right, Corey. He's held the NXT North American title, even held the Million Dollar Championship, too. Cameron Grimes looking to add a few more zeros to his bank account, courtesy of the winner's purse. Galloping into history, defying all odds. It's the Dark Horse. And his opponent from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 256 pounds, the undisputed 
WWE Universal Champion, Wild Thing, Anthony Wheeler. A once forgotten man who is now etched in the annals of WWE history. This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he better be careful or he might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for them. For a superstar that always has something to prove, his next opportunity starts now. Cameron Grimes has been boasting he can beat the champ twice in one night. Confidence or mind game? It could be both. The mental aspect of this sport is often overlooked, and you can't deny the power of positive thinking. Sure, but you better hope it doesn't backfire. I wouldn't want to poke a tiger, even a paper one. Boom! Into a DDT. How's that for a counter? Mistake made by Grimes. Sharp knee. Off the ropes, knee lift into the neck breaker. Into the corner now. Inverted tree of woe position now. Opponent set up with a tree of woe, driving those knees into the abdomen. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught position to be in right now. Fighting out. Punishing power slam. And the pressure on Grimes continues to mount. Yeah, Cameron just keeps getting cut down. Leg drop across the throat. Oh, my lord. Kick. He's one Step ahead there. Big time move coming up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, setting their opponent up on the ropes. What is the plan here? Oh, this is going to be nasty. Avalanche slam. Off into the pin. And he breaks the count quickly. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Denied via a wicked punch to the stomach. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. Look at this. Slingshot sent on. Took a massive risk, but it might have paid off. Oh, just turn that around. He's going for it all. From the top. Flight, trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? Now that's being one step ahead of your opponent. One. Now they're amongst the crowd, but remember, there can be a count out. Be careful. Just listen to the crowd roar. They're all about this. Not every day a match finds its way right into your lap. How brutal must it be to stand amongst all those idiots in the crowd? to the swinging side effect. Gotta give credit to Grimes there, backing up his loud mouth with that move. Oh. Setting foot in the ring now. Get back here, leg lariat. Agility like that, easier said than done. Hooked up. Small package driver. Holy cow, a taste of his own medicine. 
Johnson. Oh, shoulder up before three. He just said, no way. Not to my own move. How draining was that? Can it be done again? Can that ever be summoned at least one more time? And, oh, look at this. This is no time to hesitate. You can feel the end coming. Look out! Oh, just completely off target there. My goodness, I think I heard something break on that crash landing. Oh. Arms are trapped. Jeez. There's a headbutt. <laughs> Top rope, putting it all on the line. Ooh, he's absorbed. Oh, look out! Diving hammer strike! Up the turnbuckles! What's he gonna do? Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near. Nice counter from Grimes. out the knee. Watch this. This is breathtaking and painful. Cover! And he only stays down for a one count. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. Oh, swan time. We might be close to the end. Holding on by a thread, maybe even less at this point. Big impact. Snapmare could set something else up. This mask could just about be over. Vicious knees and kicks back here, my goodness! Oh! Can Grimes recover from that? champion with another victory. Will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers? How can they love this guy so much? There's the consequences of getting caught unprepared. Just goes to show you, you got to be on your toes at all times. What's up, Dark Horse? I'm glad you're here. You look like a man who would appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime. Wouldn't everybody appreciate the opportunity of a lifetime? I don't know. I haven't asked everybody. Fair enough. Okay. So what's the opportunity? This has got everything. Exotic locale, untold riches, once-in-a-lifetime experiences, and everything is for a really important cause. Any one of those things by itself would probably be enough to say yes. Yeah, that almost sounds too good to be true. That's because it is. Most of that stuff I just made up. I was trying to spark your interest, but I am offering you a chance to help an important cause. All you have to do is come to SmackDown in Wisconsin a day early and do a charity match to help a great organization that helps find seeing-eyed people to care for blind dogs. You sure that's right? 
Usually the people are blind. Blind people and blind dogs? I guess they could bond over their shared experience, but no one's gonna know where they're going. We better get up there fast. You in? The last few minutes have made it clear that I really do not want to be stuck on an airplane sitting next to you having another conversation like this. No thanks. Oh, we wouldn't be having a conversation like this. We've already had this one. Trust me, if you change your mind, I'll be ready to talk about a wide range of other topics. That's what I'm afraid of. Have you changed your mind about the charity match? There's a plane fueling up on the tarmac right now. You chartered a private plane to get us to this charity event? Nope, but we're close to the airport, and there's pretty much always a plane fueling up on the tarmac. That place never closes, but our flight leaves tomorrow. If you've got room for one more, I guess I'm in. Great, because I really overpacked, and I'd love to toss some stuff in your bag if there's room. I'll let you know. Man, the snow really coming down out there, huh? Yeah. So, what happened to the charity match? Don't you remember we were just talking about the snow coming down? Only an idiot would travel in this weather. None of the dogs or the people could make it. We've got SmackDown in a couple of hours, and there's only a couple of other wrestlers here. We won't even have a crowd tonight. I know. Troy just texted. He and Miz are stuck in Chicago. I'm not sure when they might get here. That's what I was afraid of. Sounds like we have no choice but to fall back onto the line of secession. And as the longest tenured locker room member and fifth in line to run things, I am in acting protocol 48 and naming myself acting GM. What are you talking about? Protocol 48? Did, did you just make that up? Yes, but as my first order of business as acting GM, I'm writing Protocol 48, which names the acting GM in charge of everything. I had a strange feeling this was going to happen when I heard Miz was stuck in Chicago. So I went ahead and pulled the locker room, and everyone agreed they really wanted title shots. I bet they did. I guess part of being in charge is saying no. Why would I say no? I can't look like I'm playing favorites on my first day on the job. I run a democratic administration, and the people have voted. What? I fly in early to help you in some charity out, and this is the thanks I get? Charity isn't about what you get. It's about what you give. And first up, you be giving Robert Roode a title shot. And since everyone is trying to dig their way out of the snow, it's going to be a shovels match. By the way, how do you think I'm doing so far as GM? I think... This will be one of the most amazingly bad situations in the history of WWE. I stopped listening at amazing. Good luck out there, champ. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship!
a truly glorious arrival. A multiple time champion around the world. There is no one else as glorious. I can think of some people. Well, according to Robert Roode, no one measures up in the ring or on the entrance ramp because nobody makes an instant impact quite like Robert Roode does. He's held the NXT title, tag team championships, the United States title. Robert Roode is all business. Robert Roode has tasted success both as a tag team competitor and in singles action. And you know, Byron, he's proved he's dangerous in any situation, any night of the week. Yeah, like it or not, Michael, Robert Roode has made a career out of making the most out of his opportunities. Roode is a serious threat to any superstar, and Robert Roode is always ready to get his hands dirty. Ready to make some noise in this silent arena. The Dark Horse. Maybe if the champ takes his time here and stalls, Miz can get here and put an end to this farce of a show. Hey, it's just getting started. Give General Manager R-Truth a chance. It's time to dig deep and get this one going. Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds. The Glorious Robert Roode! And his opponent, from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 256 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Wild Thing, Anthony Wee! I have a feeling we're about to see a classic, gentlemen. You can see the desire in these competitors' eyes reflected right back at them in the shine of that championship's gold. Mother Nature may have silenced the crowd, but the roar of champions will echo in the arena as interim GM R-Truth has deemed every match tonight will be a title showdown. And we're kicking it off with a shovels match? It's really too bad we're the only ones to see this live. They should make the loser clear the sidewalk outside so we can actually get some fans in here to enjoy this. He's able to fend off the attack. Ooh. 
Oh, look at this! Driven down broken arrow! Goodness gracious! You gotta wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Looking ready to deal out some justice with that shovel. And Rude saw it coming. Can Rude withstand much more of this? Looks like Rude's having trouble generating any sort of defense. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. And it is clear the mission now is to destroy and incapacitate. Ah, gut buster! He's outside the ring. Uh-oh! Slingshot cross body? That was ridiculous! That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Back suplex onto the barricade. Oh, sent flying. The champion just chucking the competition around like they're nothing. That has to claw at the challenger in some way. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, watch this, fellas. Ooh, Harper clothesline. Thrown back in under the ropes. He's looking for something. This could get dangerous. Dodges. Oh, and a bionic elbow. And misses on the springboard. Nice. The champion's down. The champion's down. Oh, my God. We could have a new champion. And the champion avoids the two count. Close call, but not enough yet. Just punched him right in the mouth. Oh, Relentless. God. Right to the face. My God. Inverted atomic drop. Boom. Lands face first. Rude. He's thinking big. From the top. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. The challenger not looking good right now. Going for a pin for the championship. The champion with a quick shoulder up. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. <laughs> oh, and a bionic elbow. That's a bad landing. No, no, their eyes, their eyes. Oh, look oh, at him. Punch. Shoulders down. Championship on the line. One, two. Kick out and the title fight continues. A long two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Getting him into the corner. Uh-oh. This I'm is on the not top row. where you want to be. Oh. Oh, right to the gut. And more. Oof. Gutbuster. Rude's being stalked. Dangerous situation. Strike after strike after strike to the body. Oh, man. The champ will stay champ. Makes the cover. One, two. It's over. The champion retains. Here is your winner. And still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Wild Thing, Anthony Wheeler. Inconceivable. How does this guy keep beating the odds? I don't believe it. It sounds like he had money on his opponents or something. Start believing, Corey. This was a great title defense from the champion. Yeah, hats off to the champion. They could not be kept down in this one.
Dark Horse, thanks for coming in. I was hoping you had a minute to discuss your performance review. You have a suit? I always have a suit with me every time I travel. What if the hotel has a pool? Did you forget yours? I might have an extra, or else we can always take turns. I meant the suit you're wearing. Oh, this? Once I became GM, I started reading up on some business concept. One tip was dress for the job you want, not the job you have. So while you were in the ring, I was looking to see if there was an astronaut suit laying around. I struck out on that front, but I found this baby in MVP's locker and thought maybe I should put it on so I could look more authoritative. Luckily, MVP said it didn't fit him too well, so he didn't mind if I borrowed it. What do you think? That I shouldn't have agreed to come on this trip with you. That grouchy attitude is exactly why I wanted to have this performance review. I'm looking for team players. You know teamwork makes the dream work. This is a nightmare. That's spirit. Now make sure you keep that mentality when you get out there for your next title defense. While I was looking around for the astronaut suit, I noticed something. The aisle numbers go in order. 11, 12, 13. Also, with no people in the arena, this place is really big. So for your next match, I want you and Chad Gable to really explore the space. Just like two astronauts. Except there will be gravity. Uh, thanks for making that clear. No problem. As long as I'm GM, I don't want anyone out there thinking I've suspended gravity and they can't fall. You can. And in this match, those falls will count anywhere. Got it? Falls count anywhere title match against Chad Gable. All because our GM is a borrowed suit-wearing space cadet. Maybe someday. The following contest is a Falls Count Anywhere match and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. WWE Universe, prepare to be shooshed. Chad Gable is a gold medalist who went to the next level as a member of the Alpha Academy. Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never uh, thank you. And there he is, the man who's blazing his trail through WWE. There's a lot of hype surrounding this guy, but I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. 
Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? It's time to silence the critics and make some noise. Introducing the challenger from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds. Chad Gable! And his opponent, from Baltimore, Maryland, weighing in at 256 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Wild Thing, Anthony Wee! There is no prize bigger in this industry. The owner of that title is the alpha of our sport. This is what it's all about tonight. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Using an empty arena for a false count anywhere match, GM R-Truth is creating an inspired slate of matches under unique circumstances. Inspired and in R-Truth? Come on, I wouldn't trust him to lead ants to a picnic. Seems like the blizzard outside is nothing compared to the storm brewing inside, backstage, and in every corner of this arena. And that definitely made solid impact. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Ooh, headbutt from the rear. He's turning the tables. Strikes with the feet. And then a double stomp to the lower back. Oh, that can dislocate something. And Gable had it scouted. And responds with a counter of their own. Up they go. Choke bomb. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. He's about to make this more chaotic than the Battle of the Hudson. What a counter. Blast off. Ducking out of trouble. Oh, and a double axe handle. Incredible height. Oof. Front face lock applied. Hoist it up. Sit out, broken arrow. The challenger not looking good right now. False count anywhere matches are absolutely no joke. And they're showing us that firsthand right now. Oh, any one of these attacks could cause irreparable damage, but I don't think you can come back from this many. I don't care who you are. You can't take consecutive attacks like that without it affecting you. The steel chair, never as innocent as it looks. Got flipped upside down there. Here's the pin title on the line. Here we go. And the champ beats the count early. What a kick out. And now thrown back into the ring. Clearly hoping something nefarious is beneath the ring. Oh man, obviously hoping to take things to the next level with this ladder. He'll take things into the ring. A oh, torturous knee. Oh, that's not how you're supposed to use a ladder. Powering up their opponent. Wrists are trapped. Oh, 
Oh, Cyclone Suplex. Nasty what? impact. The challenger fending off the two count. He's still got more left in the tank. <laughs> oh! Oh, and there isn't going to be a trip to the penalty box either. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. Jawbreaker counter to get out of that. Chad Gable with a German suplex. Not done yet, has not released. Arm still claps around the waist. A second German suplex. Nice. The title might change hands. Makes a cover. One, two. What in the world? We knew it was not going to be an easy task to put the champion away, and that's being proven right now. More like the champions proving that sooner perish than lose their title. And Chad Gable can't believe it. He's about to blow a gasket. Victory roll pinning combination rolls through super kick. Trapping both of their opponent's arms and hoisted up. And he may have felt his grip slipping. So he releases the hold. Still was able to produce some considerable damage, though. <laughs> Scoop slam. <laughs> All the way up. The power of the gut wrench suplex. <laughs> the springboard attack fails to land. driver and the effects of this match able to be shaken off by gable there this match is reaching a tipping point and chad can feel it oh my god nobody home on that the 110th street to retain the title one two that's it and the champ stands tall once again here is your winner, and still, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Wild Thing, Anthony Wheeler. Another incredible win for the WWE Universal Champion. Every time you think this guy's down, he finds a way to pull victory from the jaws of defeat. He's definitely fought to keep his championship, and that's something he should be really proud of.